Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. I'm your host, Chris Dysis, and um, we want to talk to you today about um, Iwata in Kimishino. And he has been in power not quite for a year, you know, probably about six months now. And we thought that we would take a different, um, we would look at the differences between the two of them and, and how I think it's been affecting the game's output on the Wii U. Um, to to put it in the most simple terms, because we'll we'll try to keep this video shortish. Um, Iwata comes from a background of gaming, and Kimishita comes from a background of um, business. He was in, into banking and things like that, and he used to be um, he used to run Nintendo of America many years ago during the the uh, the heydays of of Pokemon, and. So he has a bit of a better idea of the West, while Iwata had a better idea of what gamers would like, and he had more of a deeper understanding of playing games and, and producing and making them. Now, what we're seeing, I think, with the second half of 2015 and the second half of 2016 is the some of the differences between the CEOs. With uh, Iwata, and the Wii U, um, we saw some poor outputs from both to both consoles. Um, Animal Crossing, uh, Happy Home Designer, and uh, Amiibo Festival. Then you've got um, the Mario Tennis game for the Wii U. And you just saw um, a lack of games out for those two consoles. Now, if Iwata was still around, he would have kept some Wii U games that are now been probably been moved over to the NX for the Wii U for the end of 2016 to keep the fans and people happy. Because, you know, primarily he's a gamer and he sort of understands the general mood of Nintendo fans. You know, through his Nintendo Directs and things like that. With Kimishino, he's more of a business-minded person. He thinks a bit more in that area. And he looked at the Wii U and with his business mindset, I'd probably have to agree with him. He decided to move those Wii U projects over to the NX. He said, look, this console is not selling, it's gonna be dead, and it's not gonna work. There's no point putting new games onto a console that has not sold very well. And that's, I would say that's those are some of the main differences about um, those two people. Now, I think at this point, we do need someone like Kimishudo, someone who has um, more of a business mindset, someone who will make some of those tough decisions. And it would be a pretty tough decision to basically have no games for the Wii U for the rest of the year. There will still be a couple here and there, but no big releases for Christmas, unless they pull something out of the hat for the Christmas period. But we have no idea what. Uh, but of course, it won't be The Legend of Zelda, as that's coming out March next year. Some of those issues um, that I see is, I my theory on the NX, I think that possibly it was originally going to come out at the end of this year, and they turned around and they said, look, the game's not going to be ready, there's a few problems here and there, it's it's going to be released too soon. And Kimi Shida looked at the situation, he said, look, we don't want to have a launch where there's only a handful of games out, we don't want to release it in November, and then tell the fans that there's nothing coming out for the next four or six months. And it will just be like the Wii U situation and the 3DS situation too. So that's why everything's being pushed back. So once you get March, there will be an influx of new games coming after that. There's E3 coming up in those next couple months or next year. And that is what I think is the reason why the, N the NX was delayed. In, in some respects. <clears throat> so, I I think he's doing all right. I think Mutomo is doing well for smartphone games. I think um, Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem are good picks for, for new smartphone games coming out later on. But uh, I think... I think the, the, the proof will be in the pudding um, as we get towards the end of this year and we start to hear more news about the NX and what that's going to be about and things like that. So it's it's going to be very interesting to see what will happen. So that is it for me. 
and I shall see you next time.